Judd. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. Aaron Judge leaves the yard. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. As you take your first couple of steps out of the box, you know you've got some real estate to run on, and such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Aaron Judge at the plate. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. He made him pay for that one. The Yankees score first. It's 2-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. It's Aaron Judge now. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. With one swing, he quiets the crowd, and they add a pair. It's 2 nothing. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Judge. Big time power. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That'll fire up the dugout, and they jump out front. It's 2-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location. They're trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing. They can Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Out of here! He sends a rocket to left, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's one nothing. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. No balls and a strike. Runner at first with no outs here. There's a swing and a drive. And forget it. That one felt good, and they grabbed the lead. It's 2-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise.
power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Judge rips that one. Kiermaier going back on it. Off the batter's eye and gone. Aaron Judge leaves the yard, and the Yankees have the lead. It's 1 0. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the base. Glass now, ready and deals. Crushed in the air, left center field, way back there, no doubt about it. That was a moonshot. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter. Getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Is on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation. Judge rips that one into the monster seats and gone. He'll touch them all. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carry. You've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step. Judge rips that one. Into the bleachers and gone. Aaron Judge leaves the yard. It's 1-0. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power. And you'll swim boot. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down. And when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position. That one ripped left field. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. He'll circle the bases. It's 1-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for him. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the... Oh, now this is blasted! Way back there, on its way, gone! Aaron Judge with a rocket! It's one nothing.
power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working, powers that fastball out of here. Strike one. Kershaw fires. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that ball is gone. Aaron Judge leads the yard. And they add a run. It's 2-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Singy, I hope you saw it because it didn't stay in the air for long. No, it did, Boog. StatCast telling us 110 miles per hour off the bat, and that's plenty to hit one out if you get enough air under it. As a hitter, you hardly feel the ball when you make contact as solid as he did right in the box now. No balls and a strike. Anderson ready to work. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. An absolutely majestic shot. It's 2 nothing. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Glaber Torres, hey, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Boog, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have Now a blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. Aaron Judge leaves the yard. It's 1-0. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. And these guys can run down just about everything hit their way. And now the one Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. Aaron Judge with a rocket. It's 2-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's Glaber Torrin Judge. Stands in now and watches strike one. Big time power. Judge rips that one back there. And it is gone! A soaring shot to center. And they add a run. It's 2 nothing. Back-to-back -back jacks. And this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean... 
This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Here comes Glaber. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. Aaron Judge leaves the yard. It's 2-0. Well, oh, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Here, hey, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Boog, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to... Judge rips that one. And gone! Aaron Judge leaves the yard. It's one nothing. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. One out, bases do some damage. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way and gone. Aaron Judge with a rocket, and they add on. It's 2-0. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. On the north side of them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. This one's got a chance. That one is gone. Aaron Judge leads the yard. It's 1-0. Pitcher tried to intimidate with that fastball up and in, but he was ready for it. Pulled the trigger, and man, explosive through the zone right there. So one out, nobody. So that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Big time power. Judge rips that one. And that is gone. An absolute blast to left. It's 2-0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. I 
out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here comes Aaron Judge. That one hammered center field. Back there. Gone! He blasts one out to center. It's 2 nothing. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Labor Torres today. They're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Boog, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Aaron Judge with a rocket. It's 1-0. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. One down. No outs. Runner on second. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A two-run homer. It's 2-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter. Getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Labor Torres up to the plate. Get their starter some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Judge rips that one way back there. And that one's gone. Aaron Judge leaves the yard. It's 1-0. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. Here's Glaber. The wind blowing out, a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is out of here. A solo shot. It's one nothing.
When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Here is Glaber Torres. One, if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, stand on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Aaron Judge with a rocket. It's 1-0. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. Here's Glaber Torres. Doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You, Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. Off the batter's eye and gone. Aaron Judge leads the yard. It's 1 0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Base is empty. One excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Aaron Judge at the plate. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. McCormick ranging back on it. And that one's gone! He circles the bases. It's 1-0. versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's gonna win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working how is that fastball out of here